We might just have a solution to all your right to repair problems. So I know some of you out there have commented on a few of our past videos about having the right to repair your own equipment. And I know John Deere has become up as a pretty big topic where they don't want to sell you their software. And if you do get some software, it costs thousands and thousands of dollars to get the software and all the stuff to try and scan your tractor and fix it and figure out what's wrong with it to do DPF regens. Well, right here we have the Ansel all system truck scanner and this thing can scan pretty much i mean i'm not going to say everything but it can do a lot of equipment any a lot of a lot of pickups a lot of trucks a lot of tractors a lot of loaders and all sorts of just different heavy equipment so we have it right here we have a tractor right here that this is the rake tractor and we've just been out raking some hay and this tractor likes to throw codes and i guess it threw a code that it usually always throws that we don't really know what it's supposed to be for or how to do so we're going to go plug this in and we're going to see what it says and what it, if it can read the code if it can clear the code we're going to do some tests on it and we're going to climb up here and we're going to unbox this thing okay let's open this thing up and see what we got so the user's manual how to run everything and how to use it we will be looking at this because uh yeah i've never run this thing before so we're gonna test it out and see but you definitely want to need, use this so you know how to run the thing and then let's see we have so this is all of the different connections let's open this up so these are all the connections that it comes with and it comes with a bunch of them so and I just dropped one so this one just plugs into the mod the, the reader and then this is just your typical ODB2 plug that like you could plug this right into a pickup so I imagine you can scan your codes on your pickup and stuff with this too so this plugs into this and then you have these two different plugs now I'm not sure which one I know one of these is the plug for our tractor so we're gonna figure out which one that is and then the one that I dropped on the floor is this guy so you got these three different plugs that you can use and that's going to cover a lot of your heavy equipment they all use one of these three plugs there might be a different plug that you could possibly get if it if it uh didn't work in whatever you were doing but these three plugs are going to cover the majority of the heavy equipment let's pull out this thing so this is the actual scanner let's get this opened up so it is a nice scanner it's a touch screen it's pretty it's pretty sturdy i do wish it had some like rubber bumpers and grips on here because i mean you're out inside of a tractor you accidentally drop this thing it'd be nice to have some a little bit of protection it does have this little strap so you can not drop it hopefully but let's plug this thing in and see what we got now i did just notice this is a cat nine nine pin this is the diesel six and nine pin so that's the uh six nine the cat nine so i believe this one is the one that we use in our tractor the plug is right here so we're going to plug it in and get this thing going just take this plug that comes with it and plug this one into this one and then you can take this and just make sure you get it the right orientation plug it right in right there and then this just plugs into the top right here Thread these little dillies in. Look, it's already powering up. So it already knows. And it does have this right here, which is, I think it's for external power source. If you don't have power to your engine or whatever, but we're powering up. Now I'm just looking through the manual right here, but it shows it plugged into different, uh, different semi trucks and stuff. It's all different styles of plugs and shows you what all the different things are that it can do and how to use it, all the different functions, and how to use this thing. So it does give you a nice comprehensive manual on how to run and operate this thing. All right, I'm just gonna apologize in advance for the reflection of me in the screen. There's no other way I can show you the screen without, like if I turn it this way, you won't be able to see a dang thing because all the sun and all the sky. So you're just gonna have to see half a picture of me. All right, so in here, we are in a John Deere, but I mean, they have Volvo, Komatsu, John Deere, Caterpillar, Bobcat, Case, Hitachi, Yanmar, 
and DPF. So if you want to do a DPF regen, I know that's one thing that a lot of people have had problems with is like your tractor, this thing, but if you have a new enough one that has DPF, this one doesn't have a DPF on it, but if it needs to do a forced regen, it'll put you in limp mode and you can't do anything. So with this, you can go DPF, you can pick your machine and you can actually reset your DPF and do a regen and everything and do a force regen all that and get it out of limp mode and get it going again which is kind of nice. We're going to go in here to John Deere because I know that this tractor has been throwing some codes so we're going to go into diagnostic mode manual selection this is a John Deere and they have also I mean so many different things in here loaders, backhoes combines headers so excavators cotton harvesting compact loader they have so many different things that you can select in here so you just need to find your machine tractors all sorts of tractors 8RT 9R they have tons of tractors in here Go search models. So this is 8330. Let's go 8330. Confirm. So 8330 John Deere subcategory tractors data available. Yes. 8330T. No, this is not the T. This is 8330. Let's go in here. This is our tractor. That's the one we've got. So let's connect. But you can see that there's so many, I've, I've never seen a scanner that can do so many different engines, so many different machines as this one. So now it's connecting to the model. It does take a minute to connect. All right, we're connected. So now you can see all the different things in here that we're connected to. So you have all your different systems in here that it can see. Let's just hit smart scan. So you can start to see as it's scanning the different faults, two faults on that one, two faults on that one. So the ones that are good, it says passed, passed. The CCU, two faults, two two faults on that one. So this this tractor, uh, this tractor throws a lot of codes. It's it's got almost nine thousand hours on it, but it throws a lot of codes in here. Now let's go up to the one I know has been throwing lots of codes is this one. This is the code diagnose. Okay, so now it's telling me these are the two codes that it throws the most and it's telling you what they are. So the top one is a fan speed code. The bottom one is engine injector cylinder number six. Click the diagnosis button. So here we go. These are <laughs> count three. Yeah, it's it throws that code a lot. So fan speed valid but below normal operating range, moderate severity level. And this one, the engine's injector cylinder number six, mechanical system not responding right of adjustment. So these are the two codes that it throws constantly, and it doesn't change how the machine runs. So we're just gonna go. Erase fault code. You sure want to clear it? Here, let's go back and see what else we can do. Oh, you can do live data. So you can actually start it and get live data of all the different sensors and stuff. So before I clear this, I want to go back and see because I didn't even know about this one. This one's never thrown it. Thrown a code that I know. Okay. Yep, it has. I remember this one. So operator not seated during reverse command. Okay, multiple reverse switches conflict. So yeah, basically this code pops up if you don't put it, if you don't put this little lever over here all the way in park and it sits there, then it thinks there's something wrong and it throws a code. So yep, I do remember those codes. So we're just gonna go back Let's make sure there aren't any other codes that we need to worry about. All right, there's a couple more here. Hydraulic temperature hot, yes, okay. This one, it's cool that it keeps all these codes that I can go in and read them. So 
hydraulic oil filter restriction sensor bypassed over 1500 rpm so <laughs> this code throw gets thrown a lot and we're not even quite sure why i think it's the sensor uh when the art when the hydraulic on this tractor is just running constantly it likes to throw this code and sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't it doesn't really affect it and we've replaced the filters and done all the things so i think it's just a bad sensor none of these codes are codes that are going to cause something to not work look there's a one key eraser let's just erase all the codes now it says it's scanning so it should i should be going through and erasing the codes there we go so now it's erasing the codes that are that have been thrown on all these things. So if you have a code that gets thrown and you're in the field and it puts it into limp mode, you might not be able to fix it right then, but you might be able to come in here, clear that code, and at least get it out of limp mode so you can drive the machine back to your shop or wherever and then work on it. Okay, so now all the all the codes on this tractor are cleared. We can exit this one and there you go we just scanned our tractor cleared the codes figured out what it was we got it back to where there's no codes and that way so some of those codes there was a whole bunch of codes in there some of those I know were some really really old codes so we just cleared some of those old codes that we have fixed the problem it just was stored in there so now going forward if it throws a code we can go in and look and see what it is and if we need to have somebody come out and fix it, like the sensor, I don't know where that hydraulic sensor is, probably somewhere in the hydro where the filters are, we can have somebody come out and fix it. But at least we can clear the code and get it back going again pretty easily. And this tractor, that hydraulic code has put this tractor into lint mode before, so it's nice that we can get that out of the way. Now this is one of very, very few code readers that you can actually find for heavy equipment. There aren't very many companies out there that actually make one of these. And it's nice that they have gone in and made it to where you can use it on pretty much any engine. Now, not all engines, not everything's on there. I'm sure there's some stuff missing, but you can connect this and you can digitally download new things and new updates on there. And if you wanna make sure that it does work on your equipment, you can reach out to Ansel and they can answer all your questions as far as connecting to which equipment you have. I sent them a list of all of the tractors and all of the stuff that we have here on the farm and they said this will work on all of it. So it's nice that we have one thing that can connect to all of our machines and keep all of them up and running and make sure that we can scan them and figure out what's wrong. But any more of these days, something like this is probably got to be an essential on either a farm or a construction operation or if you just have a whole bunch of equipment that you use all the time something like this is invaluable because you can actually go in and figure out what the code is what you could possibly do to fix it you can clear the codes and you can do dpf on uh, forced regens so you can go in and on a lot of new equipment you have to do the regens if you and if you have to call out the dealer to come do the regen well that can cost a lot of money so this you can pick this up for under 500 bucks and if you use our code rocky30 you can get $30 off this thing and I'll put the link down in the description below to where you can go find that so for as far as right to repair now you have a way that you can go in and scan all your stuff you don't need John Deere's software or Caterpillar software you can buy this for under 500 bucks and you can go and scan your own machines and clear the codes and figure out what's wrong and possibly be able to fix it but thanks again for Ansel for sending this to me. It will be definitely a valuable piece of equipment on our farm anytime we have a code. We do have a few tractors that have DPF, so we've had regen problems before, and now we can go in and we can do our own regens on those. Right now, we have a case loader that has a code, and it's just blinking light on the, on the front. We don't know, it doesn't tell us what the code is. So now we can actually go plug this into the loader and we can see what the code is. So it's really nice to be able to have something that you can figure out your own problems. If you do have to have a mechanic come out and fix it, yeah, I know some of the stuff, like a lot of things on these equipment is really hard to work on. So you do sometimes have to have the mechanic out, but sometimes it's just something simple and you can clear the code and you can keep going. Hopefully this helps somebody out there who's been looking for something like this, who's had a lot of problems with getting their stuff fixed and getting their stuff scanned and figure out what's wrong. Now you have a tool that can do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to go down below, hit subscribe. And if you want to pick one of these up, again, the link is in the description. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.